guys, Daryl Kramer here. Just going to walk you through the Automator application that I put together to sideload Android apps on your BlackBerry Z10 or your Playbook. Uh, if you follow the instructions that the CrackBerry guy set out and install the Playbook tools in your user uh, home directory on your Mac, then just dropping this Automator application in there should uh, make your life a lot easier as it uh, simplifies what you need to do. You don't need to get into the weeds with Terminal. You just need to enter the IP address, the password, and then type in the name of the bar file that you want to load and it'll walk you through installing multiple ones if you want. So let's get this started. Just double click on the BB10 side load Android app. It just prompts you to enter the IP address. So I'm going to do that for my playbook. Uh, click on OK. Enter the password and click on OK. And then in this case, I'm going to install the CIBC uh, mobile banking app. So I enter that and click on OK. And you'll see here that it spits up a terminal window. Uh, CDs into the right directory and starts running the Java installer. So it'll proceed through here. And once it's finished uh, installing, then the little automator will come up and prompt you, asking you if you want to install another application or not. And if you don't, it just exits the little application. If you do want to load another application, then you just type it in. So in this case, I'm going to put the Kindle uh, app on as well. So I'm going to click yes here to load another application. I'm going to type in Kindle and click on OK and you'll see it goes through loading that on as well. So hopefully this makes your life a little bit easier. You don't have to remember uh, all the command line wizardry that you do in terminal and you just have to know the actual bar file names, uh, type that in, it remembers the IP address, it remembers the password and goes through the install that way. So there aren't a lot of error checking in there right now. I'm going to add that into future versions. So if you do mistype an IP address or password, uh, you'll probably just see an error uh, in the terminal window and you'll just have to exit the script that way. But uh, anyways, we'll let this finish. Uh, we'll click no to end the little application once the Kindle is installed on the playbook and we'll leave it at that. So hopefully it makes your guys life a little bit easier and uh, just trying to give back to the CrackBerry community for all the info that I've learned from there. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.